Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another Dragon Star series figure and it is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, this is the second Super Saiyan 3 Goku we're opening on the channel. We did the classic Erwin one a few months ago. We've got him here for some comparison later on in the video. But for now, let's just go ahead and focus on this guy. We've got the figure here in the package with a hair extension, a couple different options for hands. And he's got the one for instant transmission, which is just a neat feature here. On the side, we've got Goku. On the back, we have some of the other figures from this set. We've done the first form Frieza. I'm looking to get a good deal on the Android 17 and probably go ahead and add Super Saiyan 4 Goku since we have the Vegeta. I'm not looking at getting the Piccolo at this time. I did the one with the cape, so I'll probably pass on this one and then maybe look at Cell. Uh, but here's our Goku here in the front. If you guys would like to see any specific one from this set, or any other Dragon Ball Z figure, as always, just leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get the figure. So let's go ahead and cut this tape here on the side and let's get Goku out of the package. There we go. Set that knife off to the side and try to do this without tearing the box. Oop. Ripped a little bit, but no big deal. My favorite thing about these Dragon Stars figures is that you can get, just go ahead and actually, there you go, just a little bit of a rip. But anyway, my favorite thing about the Dragon Stars figures is that most of these range from about 18 to $30 on eBay. Um, really great quality. They look much better than the old classic Irwin figures, even though those are very nostalgic. So anybody who's a collector, if you want some of these, you can usually get them for a pretty good deal. I recommend just checking every single day because you never know what's gonna pop up. Kind of a side note here, they've got Goku's hair in the background. It was, so when the figure is lying, it looks like the hair is, is behind him. Not sure if you guys can see that. And so when he was in the package, it would look like this was showing up behind his arms. So we're gonna go ahead and pop him out. And uh, just lost his torso, his belt, and his leg. So let's get the upper body out. And then let's go ahead and put uh, put Goku back together. So let's see, I think the belt was like this. And there's the leg. Let's get that on. Just pull that little ball joint down. Just one second. Never had that happen before where a figure just uh, falls apart on me. But luckily with these, you can just put it back together. And let's get that leg back in there. Just one second, I'm gonna pull it behind the camera just a little bit easier. Okay, and so we're back. I had to go ahead and do a little cut there uh, because it was kind of hard to get the legs pop back into the, into the joints. I didn't just want the camera running while I was trying to get that done in the background. Um, but here we've got the legs back on the figure. And the same thing can happen here with the arms. It happens in the torso, it happens in the legs, um, where you can essentially take the figure apart. Just the first time it's happened while recording a video. So I don't want to waste everybody's time while I was trying to put Goku back together again. And I've got his hair piece back here. And then you'll see this groove in the back so we can attach this and let me just see if I can pop that right in there one second and pull it back and just try to get that in there perfectly there we go so now that we've got that in let's go ahead and look at our Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so right off the bat, you can see his face. Looks really, really good. He's got a serious look. Got the one piece of hair coming down. Did a great job on his eyes. The mouth is perfect. Got the bright orange, the blue. He's got the nice wrap all the way around his waist. His arms, they, the joints are a little bit different than some of the others. You kind of have the sleeve, which covers it. And then the arm moves around underneath, so you can turn him all the way over here. He bends at the elbow, his wrist turn, and they also kind of bend. 
And then same thing here on this arm. When he has the hair extension in, you can turn his head a little bit, not all the way. Um, and then it also moves back and forth just a little bit. He does turn at the waist. And then down here, his legs, they kind of come up and off to the side. And then he also bends at the knees. And then his ankles also turn and kind of move up and down a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can get this guy set down and kind of posed. We'll see how it works with his hair. The other one, the Irwin figure that I showed at the start of the video, um, that one had a really tough time standing up, but I think this Goku, we should be able to, to stand. Give me just a second. All right, so he's leaning forward maybe a little bit. It might be hard to, hard to see his face, but let's go ahead and there we go. So we've got him, and then here's the other one just really quickly. You guys can see this is not a bad figure, the old Irwin one, um, but it's not nearly as detailed, doesn't look nearly as good as this one. You see his eyes not really painted on there perfectly. It looks like his neck is kind of, well, his head's kind of sticking out awkwardly. I know with this giant piece of plastic with the hair, it's a little bit tough to make the figure. Um, well, this is still a nice figure, very nostalgic for some of us. Um, the new one, if you're a fan of Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I highly recommend the new Dragon Star series. So let's go ahead and get this camera down and let's see what our Goku looks like up close. And so you can see it's kind of awkward because you have to lean him forward with the hair. You can't really see his face. So let me just kind of tilt him backwards so you guys can see. There it is from the front. And then the one awesome detail on this is the back when you see his hair. They did a terrific job on this, whether you see the figure from the side or just from the back. The detail is perfect, the color is perfect, and then the way the hair snaps in, you can't really tell. I mean, you can see the line up there a little bit, but if you're just kind of glancing at the figure, you would think it's an attached piece, like a permanently attached piece. There he is from up front. I know we had some difficulty with this guy falling apart, but I didn't want to cut that out of the video just so you guys can see it does happen with these figures. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's another figure you'd like to see, and I'll see you again next time.